Hey guys, uh, so this week we are uh, spotlighting our roasts. Um, they can be rather intimidating. Uh, sometimes uh, cooking them, you're, you're worried that they're gonna come out tough. Uh, do you cook them long enough? Did you cook them too long? What's the right temperature? Um, I found when I first started cooking roast, I would use a pressure cooker and that did good, but then that gets old. Um, I do find a lot of recipes on uh, beefitswhatsherdinner.com. Uh, they're tried and true. They're not like Pinterest uh, recipes where, you know, what, 75% of the time it's a fail. Uh, so I tend to gravitate towards them. I am running a little behind. I probably should have started this about an hour ago, but oh well, we'll see what happens. And so I got a recipe off of beef. It's what's for dinner. It's a Yankee beef pot roast. I don't know why they call it Yankee. I don't know what, I don't know the reasoning. We are using an arm roast. Uh, supposed to use a boneless. I've got a bone in, I don't know. We're gonna try it and see what happens. Uh, these recipes are usually pretty forgiving. So I've got some oil in my pot heating. I've got a flour mixture here. I'm gonna smear it on my roast, brown the roast, and then I've gotta throw in, it looks like some beef broth, some red wine, and a um, little bit of thyme. Throw the lid on and let her cook. Uh, recipe says it takes about three and a half hours. Mm, I'm hoping I can get it done in maybe two, two and a half hours. We'll see, um, it might be a late dinner for us. Thankfully, Maddie's dinner's already cooked, so she'll be eating well, if not before us. Anyhow, um, I hope you guys had a great Sunday. We heard an awesome message uh, from uh, Brother John this morning at church. Uh, it's Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to y'all. Uh, he touched on what makes a good father and who our dads and even the women need to emulate themselves after, and that's Christ. Uh, anyhow, I just uh, hope you guys had a great day. Hope you get to uh, see your father, talk to your father. Um, if not, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully you have someone in your life that uh, can be a stand-in. Anyhow, uh, let's get to it. So I got the roast in the pot. It is cooking, it's supposed to cook for about two hours. And then I add the vegetables, which uh, it had said to add uh, fr uh, frozen vegetables, frozen uh, stew vegetables, I guess. I didn't buy those. So I've got some baby potatoes, some carrots, baby carrots, and some onions that I'll just toss in there, cook them up and see what happens. Uh, you probably noticed that my flour wine broth mixture got a little clumpy that's just how it is i went ahead and i rolled with it i think it's gonna be okay if not no big fizz um that's just life sometimes things aren't perfect they're a little clumpy uh and you just roll with it so i am gonna clean up here i'm gonna make some do some food prepping for this coming week and then i will show you uh the finished product Again, I hope you guys all had a great Father's Day. I hope um, just that uh, you guys heard a good message. And if you didn't, you need to find a church. You need to find a church, okay? Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so we got the finished product here, kind of, sort of. So I put the roast in about 4 o'clock, I think. Mm, somewhere around there. Anyhow, it got done a lot sooner than what the recipe said. Um, I had it in there... Six o'clock would have been two hours or 6.15. I just pulled it out at 5.45. So I had it in there an hour and 45 minutes. Um, and it's a little more done than I like, but it's got good flavor. Uh, I've got the potatoes and the carrots and everything still in there, but there is the roast. It looks kind of funny just all together like that. Um, I'm gonna slice it up and uh, when it gets a little closer to time for the potatoes and everything to be done, then I will uh, throw the roast back in there to kind of just heat it back up. Anyhow, it looks tasty. I cut a little bit off the end because I 
like to taste what I cook. And um, I think it tastes good. To me, it does. Uh, we'll see what Jason and Cooper say about it. But you know what? It's beef roast and uh, they'll eat it. They like it. They're not very picky. I've been blessed in more ways than one. But um, when it comes to cooking and feeding my family, they are extremely forgiving and super easy to uh, to feed. Uh, so anyhow, um, this coming week, I guess uh, Monday through Saturday, uh, Poor Farms is going to do a discount on all roasts, 10% uh, off. So if you'd like a roast and you're in the state of Missouri, because it's only Missouri inspected, uh, give me a shout out, holler at me, and I'll get, get you some food. We still have steaks and ground beef. Um, they're their regular prices. Uh, anyhow, I, I will meet you in most areas, um, but if I can't meet you, I can ship it or we can work something out. Uh, anyhow, also want to give you a heads up or want, not a heads up, but an apology. Sorry for my attire. Uh, we get home from church and I put on my farm clothes and really and truly, I'm pretty transparent. This is what you get. If you were to come to my house, you'd see me in my farm clothes and my uh, ball cap, my nasty ball cap. <laughs> Anyhow, I uh, hope you guys have a great evening. Um, hope tomorrow is a wonderful Monday instead of a manic Monday. Uh, talk to you guys later. <laughs>